sure to check out Agile's Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredon18 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nation's SH Figyards Black Widow movie, Black Widow. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So as you can see, just like with Taskmaster, we do have a similar looking style box there. Hers is just a little bit more narrow, so we do get the one right there on the front of the box, which is shaped in the Black Widow logo. Like I said before, that definitely is pretty darn cool. Then we do get an image of the figure on the left, and then a drawn image of the character on the right. And then on the window says SH Figures Black Widow, and then we do get the Tamashii Nations Quality Sticker. And then on the bottom says Marvel Black Widow from the Motion Picture, Tamashii Nations, and Bandai. Then there's the bottom of the box with a very tiny image of the figure and the blob of blah stuff. There's the top, the one side, the, the other side. And then the back to show some pretty cool poses you can get the figure into along with most of her accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure able to take a closer look at what I'm hoping is going to be the best Black Widow figure that we've gotten from SH Figuarts. I think this is the fourth one or the fifth one. I can't remember. Alrighty, taking a closer detail look, and, and once again, Tamashi Nations did a nice job with another Black Widow figure, and this one is possibly my favorite. I really do dig her suit, has a very Black Widow look to it, more classic looking, you know what I mean? And uh, the, the, the face sculpt looks great, man. It, the face sculpts always do look like Scarlett Johansson. Just disappointed there's no other faces with the figure. And gosh darn it again, Tamashi Nations! But uh, eyes both painted in the same direction, lips are painted pretty good. Looks like there's a little shading on the face, around the eyes maybe. Unless I'm just seeing things. And the hair looks pretty good too. We do get that, that reddish color mixed with like a brown color. Which looks really nice. The braided ponytail looks really good. And it is a softer rubbery type plastic. It is on a uh, ball peg as well. And then the skin tone does match where you can see it on her upper chest, neck, and the face. So that is definitely a big plus. Uh, the torso here looks great. I do like the sculpted texture in certain spots on her suit. That looks pretty cool. And I do like these silver lines added in there. They're not just painted, they are sculpted on there as well, which is pretty cool. And the back there, we have the holster for her batons. And I do like those uh, maroon lines that they added on on the shoulders and on the back right there. That looks pretty dope. In the back, we get some more lines and straps and stuff, which look cool. And then the arms look pretty good. Do get a few sculpted wrinkles, that sculpted texture once again. Then we do get her uh, gauntlets there as well. And the paint's clean on that gold there. And then I do like how they made her belt like on an angle. We do get the Black Widow symbol or logo right on there. And the paint's clean where the red meets the gold and where the gold meets the color of the plastic. We get a pouch on that side, some more gold, and another pouch there. And that Scarlett Johansson booty as well. And then the legs here do get the sculpted texture on them. Don't really see any sculpted wrinkles. I guess she's wearing super skin tight pants there. We do have the holsters for her guns. This one is the holster without the gun in it, but we do get all the straps and everything on there. And then the lower legs, her boots look dope. I mean, it's a very plain looking figure. Not not plain, but paint wise. There, there's not much paint on the figure, but we get all the straps. Uh, I like the sculpted wrinkles here on this bottom strap because it looks like it, it's tightened around her ankles. So I like the way they did that. And then the feet look fine. Bottom of them, nothing going on at all. So overall, even though it's very plain paint wise, Black Widow suits usually don't have too much color to them. So with what they had, I, I, I do think they did do a nice job with the figure. And the detail, I think, turned out great on it. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, this movie version Black Widow is included with the best stuff we ever gotten with an SH Figuarts Black Widow. My only main issue with this figure is once again no alternate faces, man. Like, gosh, done it! And it's just that same bland, basic, stern face that we usually get 95% of the time when it comes to an SH Figuarts. MCU figure so to me that's definitely the biggest disappointing thing about this figure I wish we got like a yelling screaming face or an angry face even I, I would have taken a side eye face you know come on Tomashi Nations you got to give more alternate facial expressions so what we do get we do get her two batons then we do get her baton handles which 
peg into the back of the figure. And then we do get like a, a grapple hook type accessory, which looks to be her baton and the grapple hook looks like it flips out or something like that. And then we also do get some interchangeable gun holsters with no guns in them. And then we do get her guns. So for the batons here with the baton handles, as you can see, the handles are the same. Whoops, that was totally out of frame. The baton handles are the, are the same. This is the full baton. This is the handle here. And the handle just has a ball peg on it because just like with the Infinity War Black Widow, it just pegs into the back of the figure, which I will show you shortly. Then we do get our batons here, which look pretty cool. And the way you get her to grip onto them, it just unpegs just like with the other Black Widow figure. The peg is shaped a specific way, so you do have to peg it in properly. But uh, the batons, yeah, they, they, they did turn out fine. Then we do get this baton here, which is kind of angled a little bit, and then it does have like a grapple hook on it. And this thing is sharp, man, but I, I really dig the way this looks. I'm curious to see how she's going to use this. In the movie, and the way you get her to grip onto it, same way as the regular batons. Slide her hand on the handle, and then there you go, as simple as that. Then we do get her guns and the empty gun holsters. And the empty gun holsters, both pegs are shaped a different way, so you can tell which one belongs to which leg. So that's definitely cool. But they're just like a grayish plastic, as you can see there. And then we do get her guns, which is also a grayish plastic. They turned out fine, so... Those are all the dope accessories with Black Widow. Now let me show you how to put the handles on the figure and how to swap the gun holsters. And the way you get the baton handles into the back of the figure, same way as the Infinity War Black Widow. Take the ball peg, just peg that in, and it pegs right in. And you can articulate them around, which is pretty cool. And then just do the same thing with the other one. And then there you go. And then the way you swap out the gun holsters, they're just pegged in. But like I said, you have to get the correct gun holster into the correct peg hole. And this one does match up, so let's peg that one in. And then there we go. Then do the same thing on the other side. And then whammo bammo, as simple as that. So we do get all those cool accessories. And then we finally get 12 alternate hands. And starting on the top right here, we do get a pair of fists, of course, which do come on the figure out of the packaging. Then we do get a pair of gripping hands, which the grip on the hand is a bit on an angle. Then we do get a pair of trigger finger hands. Then we do get a pair of open, splayed out type hands. Then we do get a pair of hands that you never see any human being have their hands posed into ever. And then we do get a pair of fists with the blast effects on them. And this is definitely my favorite accessory with this figure. Love that Tamashii Nation's finally hooked this Black Widow up with these dope blast effect hands here. I really like the, uh, well, I really do dig the blue translucent plastic for the blast effect. And we do get some very nice paint sculpt detail throughout all 12 hands. And they are also very simple to swap out. And like I say, that is a very good thing because you want to risk breaking a wrist joint on your figure. But anyway, that is all the accessories included with this version of Black Widow. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now for the height of Natasha Romanoff to the very top of her hair. Looks like she's a tad bit over five and a half inches tall. And then here she is compared to the ESH Figuarts Black Widow movie version Taskmaster, the Infinity War Black Widow, the Final Battle version Mark 85, and a Final Battle version Captain America. And as you can see, she is a little bit shorter compared to the Infinity War Black Widow, but this... Black Widow is wearing heels and she is not, so I guess that does make sense that she is a little bit taller. And then here she is compared to the Mafex Black Panther, the SH Figure Arts Justice League Wonder Woman, the Infinity War Thanos, and the Infinity War Hulk. And then here she is compared to the Storm Collectible Sector, the Marvel Legends Retro Series Deadpool, the Mafex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here she is compared to the ESH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for Black Widow's articulation, and she does have some really good movement. Pretty much all the Black Widow figures do have good articulation, and she doesn't have heels on this time, so she's not difficult to stand so we do get two joints at the neck but before that her uh, braided ponytail is on a ball peg so it can swivel can pivot and move up and down which is definitely cool but we do get the two joints at the neck so you can get her to look directly down which is great doesn't look up that much with both joints there the pivot 
is pretty damn good too, especially at the upper neck. Geez, and then you do get the swivel as well. We do get a torso and a waist joint, so with both joints, she crunches forward pretty good. You don't really see much of a gap on the back at all either. And then going back, she also goes back really well as well. And then she does have very nice pivot there, as you can see. Better at the torso compared to the waist. And the waist does swivel. And then so does the torso. That torso joint is a little too tight, though. You could hear it making that sound when you articulate it, which isn't a good thing. Now, the shoulders here, we do get a nice circular motion out of the shoulder there. And then the arms do go out to the sides a little more than 90 degrees. They do go up and down. We do not have true bicep swivel, which is a bit disappointing. So you will have to use it at the shoulder joint. Or you can use it at the single jointed elbow. There is a damn moth in my apartment and... I can't get the bastard, damn it! And then we do get a, a great swivel at the, uh, the, the single jointed elbow there. And it does swivel a little bit where it connects into the forearm as well. Then we do get a ball hinge on the wrist, so that does swivel and hinges back and forth. Now for the legs here, they don't drop down or anything like that. And they never have with the Black Widow figures, unless maybe the first one did, but I can't, re I can't recall. As of now, but she does kick forward a little more than 90 degrees, so that's definitely good. Doesn't really go to the back too much because her butt does get in the way of that. Let's see if she can Jean-Claude Van Damme it, and she pretty much can, so great leg movement with Black Widow. Then we do get the hip swivel, which doesn't move outward at all, just inward a little bit, so a bit disappointed with that. Then we do get double jointed knees that bend back all the way, so that is definitely great. And the ankles do swivel. They hinge up pretty good. Hinge down really good. And then you get a great ankle pivot with Black Widow there. Really nice ankle uh, pivot with her. And then we do get a nice toe hinge. So overall, just like with all the other Black Widow figures, you do get some very nice articulation with this one. And you're going to be able to get her into pretty much any Black Widowy type poses you'd like to get her into. And I'm about to show you some of those poses right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the SH Figyards Black Widow movie version. Black Widow, hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure with detail, I'd give it an even 9. Articulation, I'd give it an 8.5. Accessories, I'd give it an even 8. And then the overall quality, I would give an even 9. If you would like to know the price more to buy this figure, I did have mine imported from Japan from Ami Ami, but Ageless Geeks does have this in stock right now, so you can check over at their website at agelessgeeks.com, and when you check out, use code name Daredevil, and you will get yourself a bit of a discount. If you can't find something on the website, I do highly recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. Then on the window it says SH Figure Arts, Black Widow, then we do get the Tamashi Nation, Dabba Dabba Doo Dabba Dee, and Dabba Dee Doo Dee Then we do get the Tamashi Nation's quality sticker on the bottom, it says Marvel, Black Widow, the motion picture, The SH Figure Arts, Black Widow, the Infinity War, Black Widow, the Final Battle, Virgilin, damn it! The Mephex, Justice League, Batman, and the Figma, Black Sword, Black, <laughs> It's funny, before I hit record just now, I started talking like I did hit record already, and then I realized I did not hit record.